All right, hey Gemini, so we're doing a love check-in for messages from their mind, heart, and soul. This is in regards to the person on your mind, the most heaviest. All right, so you're going to know this is your read by that intro energy. And if you guys don't resonate with this, check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. You guys, I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. I just want to touch on real quick in the description is some links to my uh, Twin Flame ebook and paperback book, you guys. It um, depicts my healing journey, Dark Night of the Soul, shadow work, and all that good stuff, okay? So it focuses more on the self-healing journey than any other aspect. Um, intimations. Anyway, so coming into you, I feel like what's happening with your energy um, definitely. So if you were conflicted about somebody very special or what, you know, you, you think, and they were very special or holding, holding, um, space for this, somebody where you, um, became conflicted about holding that space for this person. I feel like you guys are kind of resolving that in internally. All right. Um, so it, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. Right. So that's kind of what I see with the five of swords. And I feel like death, you know, that's going to be um, the experience of transformation, transforming thoughts, feelings, and emotions on maybe even trying to, um, like, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know why I feel like over manifest or over send this energy out to the universe. I feel like you guys are kind of, um, your, your approach. All right. To call this person in, I feel is, is changing um you're changing your approach you know um so i'm letting go of what does not what what doesn't need to be here i'm letting go of um outcome right and i feel like you're just kind of merging into happiness um contentedness within self for right now but let's see how you feel about this person how you feel about this person so we got a strength card coming through again i feel like it's trying to shake that energy okay with the moon card coming through i feel like um you know you're kind of releasing um the feelings that matter the most okay um yeah the ten of swords coming through i feel like you you've been very determined to have the outcome of, of your desire at one point in time and the ten of wands is a determination card so it doesn't mean that you're giving up on the dynamic completely but i feel like you're letting go of how you used to um feel about this connection okay and you got a strength card also coming through here so maybe um you're you're just now getting over somebody that you thought you would never be able to relinquish that's that's kind of what i'm seeing with this energy um but i feel like you're slowly stepping out of that so hopefully what I don't do is distort that energy because you guys are actually on a very, very good path. And by me saying distort that energy, I just don't want to, I don't want to, um, I don't want you to go back to how things were because in the way that, in the direction that you're moving, it's very, very beautiful. All right. So you need to keep that in mind. Um, so anyways, we're doing a past, present and future pull. Um, and we did get one card on the ground. Let me see if I can grab it. Okay, so we got past, present, and future. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to say. In the past, we have ghosted coming through. Um, I'm going to put that in the past, but however, you you could still be going or reeling from that ghosted um, energy, right? Asking yourself who, what, when, where, why. We got dazed and confused coming through, and I feel like that is the present situation, but it, I almost feel like that um, dazed and confused is also you coming to terms with how everything has sat with this connection and you moving forward. And then you got messages from spirit coming through in the um, future position. So that could be, it could be um, that, hang on, I had to pause to sneeze. Um, Anyway, it could be that you're getting information or downloads about this connection, um, you know, from spirit guides, from angels. Okay, so we're, we're going to see what that future point holds. I mean, it could have everything to do with this connection um, as far as either it coming in, coming back, or, um, hey, you're doing good. Um, continue to, the, to, to uh, release and evolve. Okay, so let's see who this is, their energy. Their energy. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming through quite possibly with that Ace of Cups. You have the Magician card coming through. That's going to represent Gemini energy. And we got the Ace of Coins. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we got this uh, Magician card, which is... Um, Gemini. So as far as this person's energy, you know, they could be moving on, they could be moving forward, but I cannot help but feel like that might be temporary. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull to see if they're coming back, but it could be too that this person has been like an energy manipulator, especially when it comes to you. Um, kind of having their cake and eating it too, getting what they want. Maybe even in the past, you've given this person, um, all that they've wanted, um, without kind of uh, holding regard to yourself. Okay. 
Um, I cannot help but feel like this is not negative energy, but they could have been um, a, a magic man or a magic woman where it's like they get what they want and then they bail, right? Um, so let's just see. Let's how, how do they feel about you? How does this person feel about you, Gemini? What do we got? We have the queen. Yeah, so you guys are coming through. So, okay, here's what I'm going to say. I feel like if you guys um, have felt in any way, shape, or form that this person has been here and they've helped you heal and grow spiritually and soulfully, um, I'm going to say that I don't feel like you're wrong, okay? We got the High Priestess and the Magician card. And if you guys have been following me, you know that those two cards are Divine Feminine and Masculine Energy. Okay, but I can't help but feel like this person is dealing with other situations. Um, You got the Queen, you got a, a King coming through. And it could be that they're dealing with a, a marriage or somebody just out there in, in the field. Okay, but I, I feel like they're kind of picking up on a, an important connection right now. Um, and it could be that they were going through um, a divorce, a separation, okay, um, but it wasn't over with yet, okay, and I feel like that's what they're kind of bringing into this connection, okay, it's not that they're not holding space for you, but right now I can't, I got to go deal with this, so there's something over here that is, um, that it's like, there's something over here, okay, and this is how they feel about you, I do feel like they look at you as a soulful connection, um, but it's almost like the, there's something pre-existing over here. I got to deal with this first before I can even think about coming forward. Right. Um, so, I mean, I, let's just see as I, I got to see if that's a confirmation, what's holding this person back from coming forward. What is holding this person back? So yeah, look at that, a tower moment, um, in their head. I'm not sure how to feel. I'm not sure how to think, you know what I mean? I feel like this person is trying to find their happiness, but the more they try to search for it through other connections and people, um, I, the less they're going to find it, the less it's going to, um, move towards them. Okay. With the Knight of wands coming through too, I can't help but feel like, you know, that Knight of wands, that could be somebody with a player type of energy. It could be too, that they were going through a separation. They were going through a divorce. They were going through something pretty powerful, pretty big. Um, when they met you and it could be that at that time, that focus was to keep their mind off of whatever was going on. Okay. But when it, you got that 10 of swords in reverse, that says something in the past was not, um, it wasn't over with yet. There's a cord that needs to be cut over there. Okay. So I feel like this person is in search for their happiness, but I do feel like they're having a real hard time finding it. Um, and that could be just because of how they're dispersing their energy. Um, and I, I don't feel like that's positive yet. Yeah, I don't feel like what they're experiencing right now is positive. Um, I feel like they're, this person most likely is all over the place, you know, just kind of a mess right now. Um, and I feel like that's kind of what they're just, yeah, that's why they're not showing up. So let's see if in the next 30 to 60 days, they're going to come through. Um, and, and again, if you guys don't know a little piece of this person's background or history, this is not going to be your read. Okay. Um, if you're, if you're not sure, if you're just completely oblivious to what's going on with them, um, I don't want you to take the information and assume with this person, I feel like for whoever's here, you're going to kind of know that something was up. There was either a separation, a breakup. They were going through something pretty big. Okay. Look at, I mean, even justice card is coming through, but I do feel like that, um, as far as their next move, um, I do feel like they're going to be coming through and that's because they feel the karma burn. Um, about how they've kind of left you and what they've kind of done. You got your Ace of Wands, which is a depiction of new beginnings, and we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, now I'm going to tell you this. I do feel like their next move is going to be based off of making themselves happy. This is going to make me happy, and this is going to make me content right now. Okay, you guys might be trying to move completely away from this for sake of your own happiness, right? So let me pull their intentions on when they come back around. Let me pull their intentions. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. I, I feel like the, okay, so it, the nine of swords comes through. Okay. And I feel like that right there is coupled with the judgment card because they're coming through to actually try to um, heal the pain, the hurt, the anxiety that maybe you carried throughout the separation um, of this connection. Okay. Uh, you, you never came back. You never responded. You never reached out. Um, you know what I mean? I feel like they were almost expecting you to, but I don't feel like that's where you've been at. Maybe at the beginning of the separation or split, you tried to, but, um, I do feel like where it's like, it's weighing on their heart. Now I should, uh, I should not have done that to a uh, Gemini. You know what I mean? Will Gemini take me back at this point? Um, so I, I feel like their intentions are actually here to um, tell you what's really going on. Okay. The four of wands, maybe they've, again, um, this is the opposite of union and happiness and harmony. I tried to go back. I tried to repair. It didn't work out. Um, I tried to heal it. It didn't work out. Okay. Um, and I also feel like they're coming through to try to make amends with you. So let's just see what the messages, um, messages from the mind, heart, and soul. 
All right. So messages from the mind. Yeah, look at that. The King of Pentacles basically coming through saying I was stuck in a comfort zone. And quite possibly this person is still kind of stuck in that comfort zone. The King of Pentacles in the upright does not come with a, a ton of negative energy, but they are very, very, uh, they're very, very, um, like it's, it's like a, um, like I'm used to this. I'm used to the stability, the home, the life, you know, I'm used to this. I'm used to things being a certain way and it's hard for me to move past that. That is why I tried to heal that messages from the heart space. Yeah. I was stuck on a situation. I was stuck in the past, but now I'm coming through to move forward. Hopefully that is with you and the soul space. I'm definitely requesting some communication, definitely asking, is there another chance? But what I want to tell you guys is um, don't give somebody a chance if they're not completely free of their own past. Okay. Um, you might, you know, say thank you, but if you're still trying to heal from something over here, I don't want any part of it because I'm trying to heal. All right. Um, so here we got, I don't know what comes next. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson and I'm not available. I mean, I just, I, that's what I feel. Okay. Um, I feel like they are going to try to move past that, but I still feel like their angle is a little bit um, selfish. Okay. Um, and, and not all of these messages will resonate with you guys, but only take what sits with you. Okay. Um, and if you look at this ghosted, I don't know what comes next days and confused. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. I'm not available. Um, I, I'm going to, I'll say this, as far as messages from spirit, I feel like as you guys navigate the course of healing, you're going to know whether this is the right connection for you to, to, um, uh, embark on. Okay. Initials. We got K C. P A M M B. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Jim, and I take care.